Hi students, welcome back. Coming to the next topic in the subject computer programming is operators. So operators is one of the important concept uh, if you want to do any arithmetic, logical, assignment, increment operator, special calculations, you need to know about these operators. So then you can perform the operation, uh, then you can use how to write the program with the help of these operators so let us see what is an operator actually this operator performs operators performs an operation so whatever the operator you have taken that performs operation on data so that you have to be noted operation uh, uh, operators perform an operation on data suppose if you take addition addition operation perform on data subtraction operation is performed on data okay so that you call it as operator operator is nothing but it performs some operation on data and let us see these uh, the C programming here we use different types of operators all the operators are classified into eight First is arithmetic operator, arithmetic operator, second relational operator, relational operator, third one logical operator, fourth increment and decrement operator fifth bitwise operator sixth conditional operator and then next to so with assignment operator and last one is a special operator so these are the eight different operators that are used to perform calculations uh, that are used to perform operations on data so if you know uh, what are these operators and what are the symbols that are used to perform these operator operations, uh, let us see that. So the, let us take the first operator that is the arithmetic operator. So I'll take, uh, I'll explain what is an arithmetic operator along with the program. So first one is arithmetic operator so what is the use of this arithmetic operator these operators are used for numerical calculation the first thing is the arithmetic operator is used to perform numerical calculations or to perform arithmetic operations like uh, it performs arithmetic operations like addition subtraction, multiplication, division, etc. So like this. So arithmetic operators are nothing but it performs numerical calculations that you have to be noted. Let us see the program then you will understand what is this arithmetic operator. Let me write the program for this by using these arithmetic operators. The first thing is for arithmetic operate uh, the operations uh, operators that are used for addition is plus subtraction is minus multiplication is star symbol and division is slash and modular division is percentage so these are the operators that are used to perform numerical calculations let me write the program hash include stdio.h I am also writing the math dot h. Suppose if you are using some mathematical functions, you have you need these uh, library function. So these library functions uh, will link it to the program 
at the time of compile compilation now writing the main program main so here i'm taking i'm initializing the values i'm taking the data type as an integer data type and the values is a is 20 and b is 10 so a 20 b is 10 and both are the integer variables now printf percentage d first i'm performing a plus b so whatever the value that uh, i have given it performs addition operation and that result will be displayed on the screen by with the help of this printf printf percentage d a minus b in the same way printf percentage d a star b so here i in this program i am writing i am using all the arithmetic operators a slash a divided by b printf percentile d a modulo b close the main program so this is a program I have written. So here I use all the arithmetic operators that is a plus, addition, addition, subtraction, multiplication, division and modular. So then what will be the output for this program? So first it does A plus B means 20 plus 10, 30 will be print on the screen. Next A minus B means 20 minus 10, 20 minus 10 you will get 10. Now coming to A star B. A star B means 20 into 10. So this is 20 plus 10 and this is 20 minus 10 and this is 20 star 20 into 10. You will get the output 200. Next A by D 20 by 10. So 20 divided by 10 means 10 to the 20. So whenever I, you use the division operation Whatever the quotient you get, that will be your output. So, A by B means only the quotient will be the output. Whereas, A modulo B means only the reminder will be the output. So, what will be the reminder of 20 by 10? 20 modular 10. So, if you done 20 by 10, A modular B means it takes the reminder value. So, here the reminder is 0. So, it, the output of A modulo B is 0. Okay. So, A by B it takes 2 and A modulo B it takes the reminder. This is coefficient. It will take the coefficient and this will take the reminder. Percentile symbol takes the reminder. Division symbol takes the coefficient as an answer. So, this is an arithmetic operator. Now let us see the second one is a relational operator. The second operator I am taking here is the relational operator. So what is a relational operator? Actually these are used for comparing two expressions. The main use of the relational operator is to compare, is for comparing two expressions the output of relational expression is either true or false okay relational operator if the expression is true it true one will be displayed false zero will be displayed let me write the output of relational expression is either true means 1 or false false means 0 so whenever 1 is the if you get 1 as an output it is nothing but true if you get a 0 as an output it's nothing but it is a false so what are the operators that are used for relational less than less than or equal to greater than greater than or equal to equal to and not equal to so these are the different relational operators that are used uh, that these operators you call it as a relational operators now let us see uh, the program for this relational operators let me write the program for this
hash include stdio dot h hash include math dot h now i'm writing the program main program main here i am taking the data type as an integer data type and the values i am initializing a is 10 b is 20 okay now i am printing the values on the screen like it calculating percentile d is a format string a less than b means whenever if a is less than b it prints one means always the relational operator output is either true or false that's it percentile d a less than or equal to b printf percentile d a greater than b here i am using all the operators in this program printf percentile d a greater than or equal to b printf percentile d a equal to b printf percentile d a is not equal to b close the main program then what will be the output for this uh, relational operators this program so first a is 10 b is 20 a is greater than a is less than b or right a is 10. 10 is less than 20. Is it true or false? Yes, true. So, the output is 1. Next, A is 10 is less than or equal to 20. Is it equal to 20? No. So, output is 0. Now, coming to 10 is greater than 20? No. False. So, 0 output is 0. Next, A greater than or equal to 10 is greater than or equal to 20? No. Again, output is 0. So, uh, next coming to, sorry, A less than or equal to. Or equal to means uh, A is less than 20, right? So, one statement is right. So, it, I'm just uh, putting it as, as true. Now, coming to 10 equal to 20. No, it's not. 10 is not equal to 20. Right. 10 is not equal to 20. So, the output is 1. So, this is the output for this program. So, this is the relational operator. So, in the next videos, I will explain the remaining operators. Thank you.